Hey there, EJ here. If you've ever baked up any scrumptious treats, I'd be willing to bet you used a recipe, right? Recipes have a list of essential ingredients that come together to create whatever it is you are baking. But did you know that food recipes aren't the only things that have important recipe lists? That's right. As it turns out, there's also a recipe for living organisms. Well, sort of. Let me explain. Way back when, I'm talking thousands of years ago, it was believed that everything was made up from four elements. Earth, wind, water, and fire. And while there is more to it than that, those ancient scientists were onto something. Now, we all know that we're made up of organs and bones, and on an even deeper level, cells and even smaller molecules to take up the cells, and so on and so forth. But here's what they got right. All living things have six ingredients or elements in common. These ingredients are responsible for giving us life. But it's not quite as simple as a regular recipe or ingredient list you'd likely find in a kitchen. Life is slightly more complicated, but you get the point. While the recipe or amount of each ingredient or what they interact with one another may vary, you can count on finding six essential ingredients. Now these six ingredients aren't things like flour, sugar, or butter. These ingredients are elements and can be summed up into a simple acronym. C-H-N-O-P-S or CHINOPS. Okay. Now that we know the acronym, let's dig a little deeper to find out what each of those letters actually stands for. The C in CHINOPS stands for carbon. The H is for hydrogen. The N is for nitrogen. The O is for oxygen. The P is for phosphorus. And the S is for sulfur. If you were to break us down to the most basic of pieces, you'd find that we are mostly made up of those six elements. Crazy, right? In fact, those six molecules alone make up nearly 98% of a human being. Chan alone makes up a little over 96%. So what's the deal here? How are we made up of those six things? Well, elements make up molecules, which make up cells, which make up, well, us. Molecules play an essential role in chemical reactions that are essential to life. Now, an adult human contains some measurable amount of about 60 different elements. So then what's so important about these six? They are extremely versatile. These elements are skilled at creating complex molecules that are responsible for diverse life forms and all that they do. So they can do a lot, and they do. In fact, those six elements make up 98% of all living matter on the planet Earth. So yeah, they're kind of a big deal. Let's take a closer look to understand a little more about each of these six elements and the role they play in our life form. It's time to turn in our aprons and grab those curiosity caps and get ready to dive into some biochemistry which simply means biological chemistry, or the chemical process that relates to living organisms. Let's get to it. First up, carbon. Humans are just over 18% carbon. Carbon makes up the skeleton of most biological molecules, like proteins, lipids, and nucleic acids. Carbon has four valence electrons, which just means that they are open to pairing chemical bonds with other atoms. Those electrons can bond with up to four atoms at the same time. This allows it to make a variety of bonds with different atoms. It can make four single bonds, two double bonds, or a triple bond 
with a single bond. Why does this matter? This variety allows carbon to play a role in creating a lot of different molecular structures. It's carbon's ability to bond in a variety of different shapes with itself and other atoms that gives us such a variety of life forms on Earth. That's why it's said that Earth has carbon-based life forms. Thanks, carbon! Next, we have hydrogen. Hydrogen makes up about 10% of humans. Now, maybe you've heard of H2O. Do you know what that chemical formula stands for? H2O is the chemical makeup of water. So, since humans are made up of nearly 60% water, it's no surprise that hydrogen makes up 10% of humans. You probably know how essential water is to human life. That's why it's so important to stay hydrated. All that need for water is one of the reasons why the element of hydrogen is so important to not only human life, but all living organisms. Hydrogen is also involved in a lot of acid-based behavior that occurs in our bodies. The acids play a role in our digestion, protein building, and immune response, so some pretty important stuff. Now, nitrogen makes up around 3% of humans. That's a big percentage, but with good cause. When it comes to nitrogen and its importance in the human body, we can turn to DNA. Remember, DNA holds all the important information and scientific codes that tell our bodies how to develop and function. In some ways, it's like the blueprint to who we are. Now, what does DNA have to do with nitrogen? Nitrogen is an essential component of DNA. So, if we take a look at DNA, these base pairs right here a water called nitrogenous bases. While every organism, including humans, have a unique set of DNA, all DNA is made up using the same four nitrogen-based molecules. Those nitrogen-based molecules are cytosine, guanine, adenine, and thymine. Nitrogen also plays a role in amino acids, which are the building blocks of all proteins. Those proteins, they help create everything from muscles and organs to essential enzymes and hormones. And nitrogen isn't just found inside living organisms. It's also found in the air we breathe. In fact, it makes up about 78% of the air we breathe. So I guess there's a lot where that comes from. Now, moving on to oxygen. I'm sure you've heard of oxygen before. What you might not know is that oxygen makes up about 65% of humans. It's also the other part of the chemical equation for water. It's the O in H2O. And we know how important water is. So like hydrogen, it makes sense that oxygen is an essential element of human life. We also need to breathe oxygen to survive. The chemical equation for the oxygen we breathe is O2. Now, here's where it gets tricky with oxygen. In chemistry, oxygen plays an important role in what are called oxidizing reactions. Have you ever seen a piece of metal that is covered in rust? That, my friend, is due to oxidation. In scientific terms, that just means that a chemical compound gained oxygen. When it comes to the human body, oxidation can actually cause damage to vital molecules in our cells, like DNA and important proteins. Here's how it works. Oxygen in the body has unpaired electrons. Electrons get lonely and prefer to be in pairs. So, these unmatched electrons go searching for another electron to pair up with. These atoms with unpaired electrons are called free radicals. Unfortunately, as these free radicals attach themselves to other electrons, they cause damage 
to the other molecule. For example, free radicals can cause damage to cells, proteins, and even DNA in the human body. These free radicals have been linked to certain diseases like cancer and diabetes. Some even point the finger at these free radicals for early signs of aging, like wrinkles and sagging skin. While free radicals are natural byproducts of certain processes in the body, they also find their way into our bodies through the things we put in and on our bodies. That includes the food we eat, the drinks we drink, and the air we breathe. But fear not, my friend. Antioxidants can help fight these free radicals in our bodies. Our bodies experience something called oxidative stress when there is an imbalance and the antioxidants can't keep up with those pesky free radicals. While we do have some naturally occurring free radicals in our bodies, they can also be gained by consuming certain foods like fruits and veggies and certain vitamins. So be sure to keep up with a healthy, nutrient-rich diet. Next, we have the P in chin-ups, or phosphorus. While phosphorus only makes up about 1% of humans, it's still really important. Like nitrogen, phosphorus also plays an important role in the structure of DNA. Phosphorus helps make up the sugar phosphate backbone of the double helix structure of DNA. See the outside of the ladder looking structure right here? That is that phosphorus rich backbone. That backbone helps the DNA store and transfer important genetic codes or information. But it doesn't end there. Phosphorus is also an important component of ATP or adenosine triphosphate. ATP is a vital source of energy for the human body and its cells, so it's really important in a variety of bodily functions. As if that's not enough, in humans, phosphorus also helps us form strong bones, including our teeth. So, as you can see, phosphorus plays many important roles in the body. Last but not least, let's take a look at the S in chin-ups, sulfur. Sulfur only makes up 0.25% of the human body, but that doesn't mean its role isn't important. Sulfur is abundant in two essential amino acids, cysteine and methionine. Remember, amino acids are important because they bond together to help create important proteins in the human body. They're the Lego pieces of all proteins. Why does this matter? Well, just like you can build a variety of shapes and structures with Lego pieces, amino acids can create a variety of shapes and sizes of proteins. While protein structures are rather complex, long story short, a protein's shape or structure is really what allows it to perform its specific job. Different shaped proteins have different jobs and those different jobs are really important to human life. Now each of these elements in chin-ops don't just exist in a bubble. They interact with each other and other elements of the human body. Chin-ops elements combine with one another to create a large variety of biochemical molecules. For example, carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen bond together to create different sugar molecules like glucose. Lactose, the sugar found in milk, is also made up of these three chin-ops elements. Now there are other significant elements in the human body that aren't part of the chin-ops group. For example, there is calcium, which makes up 1.5% of the human body. Then there are trace elements, which are used in very small amounts in the body, but are still quite important. In total, these trace elements make up about 1.25% of the human body and include iron, sodium, potassium, magnesium, zinc, copper, and iodine, just to name a few. Now, unfortunately, we're running out of time, but 
Before you go, I have a quick challenge for you. Can you remember the names of the ChinOps acronym? Give it your best shot. Ready? Let's go. C is for carbon. H is for hydrogen. N is for nitrogen. O is for oxygen. P is for phosphorus. And S is for sulfur. How'd you do? Now, remember, all living things need these six elements to, well, live. That's why they are called the essential elements to life. So, Chinob's elements aren't only important to us as humans, but other living things like plants, animals, and even bacteria rely on Chinops for life. No matter how big or small, all living organisms are built on those six important elements. Now, go ahead and share what you learned in this lesson with a friend or two. They say sharing is caring, and that's especially true when it comes to knowledge. Thanks for tuning in, my friend. Until next time, stay curious and keep on learning. We are thrilled that you're watching Blue Studios 24-7. We're so excited to bring round-the-clock entertainment and educational content to your home. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with our latest videos. At Blue Studios, we aspire to revolutionize the way families spend time together. We empower families by providing them with tools to work together, earn and learn, and achieve new heights of success. Visit www.bluestudios.io to discover more about our mission and how we empower families to succeed. Thank you so much for being part of our community. Keep watching and learning with us. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button.